Hello, welcome back to DCH's play on the Not So Simple server. Now, the last time I was playing, I was trying to find a Pump King, um, and I was attacked by or set upon by pump booms whilst I was trying to build my little hidey hole. I really don't need one of you guys milling around, thank you very much. Pump booms over there. And I bet you there's going to still be not a sign of a pumpkin anywhere. Uh, this guy is blocked behind ah, Manticore, of course. I would be attacked by two beasties at once. Three, although a ducky doesn't really count. Okay, dead. Done. Done and dusted. Um, so yes, looking for... Uh, pumpkin, but I don't know if he's going to even spawn. I'm going to wait, uh, give it until daytime. And if by daytime... If by daytime I haven't found one, I'm probably going to switch targets and go to the jungle instead, because waiting around ad infinitum for a pump king is probably going to be tremendously boring. Because uh, as you can see, there's a fair amount of other beasties coming around, but never really any of the ones I want. This sword is lasting me quite a good while. Although I think it's about to give its last fairly soon. Uh, <sighs> no, I think I think it might actually be more productive to go and find a different target. Nope, that's not where I wanted to go. There. Oh, and I left my door open. Don't leave your door open, it lets things in. Like I said last time, every time I open my door, every time, come outside, there's one of these guys. There we go. I'm out of reach of him. He can't get through the narrow doorway. Different ways... Different ways of dealing with a Nightmaster. Except when you die. In the process. Oh no, 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 don't you, don't you just run off when I've just about finished with you. Thank you. Right. Armor. Most valuable things first. Secondary valuable things. Least valuable. Okay. Feed myself. Oh no, I don't need to feed anymore. I died. Which is a very logical way of looking at it. I can place these things to harvest them into cotton. That should probably be in there. Extra night feathers. Where's my boss's materials? Where's my tools materials? 
There's the boss's materials. I've got plenty of night feathers. Great. Uh, minus two. I have died 27 times so far. Not too shabby. I've got more foods. Decidedly, the duck legs are going to be the most common food source. Not going to complain about that. Uh, I am going to have to go back into the mines for more armor though, because I realize that my gold armor is starting to wear a little thin. Pine, acacia. Mm. There's a pickaxe, yeah, I think it might be time. There we go. Um, take some more of those with me. I'm going to wait until all this is cooked. So in the meantime, it's probably a wise idea to fill in this hole because I don't really want to start falling into it on the defensive come on eh yeah couple's done will do Oop. not what I wanted to do done with this when I was creating my house. Much nicer. Okie dokie. 37. Uh, I didn't realise I had broken so many in one go, but there you go. That's how fast the stone nature mandible pickaxe goes. Go away. There we go. Nice and flat. Now I no longer need to fear falling into a hole at an inopportune moment. Go some steps up the back. A cow. Evidence of spidery activity. Food. I'll put these here so that kicks off next time I come back. Uh, uh, yes. Okie dokie, let's go mining. Mm. Oh yes, I did want to show uh, a couple of changes. Here's uh, the new vending machines. You've got two depositor machines there. Uh, one will take life energy and give you a bit of money. The other will take uh, cotton and give you a bit of money. After that you can buy well you can buy cotton back if you've got money uh, you can buy torches, you can buy TNT for quite a lot of money, uh, iron lumps, uh, food and so on and so forth. Uh, and if you run out of materials what you've got plenty of life energy or tools well you can get yourself a nice steel pickaxe. Um, these doors close on their own now, after five seconds. That way I won't have to be closing doors after people all the time, because I was 
getting a little annoyed that people were leaving things open. And some players have uh, started building uh, some forts around Spawn. Uh, so yeah. Uh, if you remember back into a previous episode, there was an Echidna uh, that I managed to defeat while just standing in the doorway. Uh, it turns out she had been active uh, quite a bit. Uh, and you might be able to see all that these dotty things all around here. Don't know if that's going to show up. Uh, if you see that, that's uh, the gas she's left behind. Uh, normally it's completely invisible. Um, I thought it would probably be best if uh, we were able to see where she'd left gas. Uh, turns your screen green and does you damage. So, yeah. Be careful of that. Um, you can uh, you can sanitize the place by placing blocks and then removing them. Oh, Land girl, hello. Uh, but uh, there's quite a bit of gas, so I don't know if you're wanting to. If you if you feel like cleaning up the place, by all means, do so. Um, there's a lot of cotton to be harvested here. Oh, ow. Uh, and to be sold on for money if you so wish. 